Hey, what's up guys? So for today's video, I'm going to do another thing a little different. Um, so I went to Pet Boys and I bought this. It's Plasti Dip. And pretty much what Plasti Dip is, if you don't already know, it's kind of like a, a spray paint thing, but it doesn't, it's not like a paint. It's actually kind of like a rubber coating. And the purpose of it is that later on, if you don't want it anymore on your car, you can just peel it off and it comes off really easily, supposedly. So for this project, you're only gonna need a couple things. You're going to need a can of Plasti Dip, some masking tape, and some newspapers. So the part of my car that I'm gonna Plasti Dip is my front grill. If you see here, it's kinda like faded. It's kinda like, it's plastic, it's kinda faded. It doesn't look very good. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and Plasti Dip that flat black. So I don't really want to remove the grill to do this. I'm just gonna do it while it's on the car because there's a lot of like little components I would have to remove and like these little plastic clips things, I always break those when I try to take them off my car, so I'm just gonna leave everything. Anyways guys, the first thing you wanna do is wash the area that you're going to Plasti Dip because you want to make sure that the Plasti Dip is bonding to your car and not to like little pieces of debris on your car, just to make sure that it stays on and it looks flat and even. Guys, so one thing about this is you're not supposed to do it in direct sunlight. So I went ahead and moved my car halfway inside the garage. Now there are some openings in my grill. The top part is all closed off, but this bottom part goes straight through to the radiator. So I don't want to get the any Plasti Dip on the radiator. So right now I'm just trying to figure out a way to like block it. So I think I did the best that I could to mask off the grill um, so that nothing passes through to the radiator. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off the rest of the area around the grill. All right guys, so I'm just about ready to start. Um, the instructions say to shake the can for 60 seconds before starting. You should hold the can six to 10 inches from the surface. And the instructions say to do about three to four layers of the Plasti Dip. Um, although a lot of stuff that I've seen on YouTube, like what other people have done, is they do about like five to seven layers. And the idea is that you get like a thick enough layer of the Plasti Dip so that, um, and you know, whenever, in a couple years or whatever, when it comes time to remove the Plasti Dip, it'll be thick enough that um, it won't come off in small pieces. You could just take off big pieces of it. So here we go. All right, here we go with the second coat. Now here goes the third coat. The instructions on the can say to wait 30 minutes between each coat. So yeah, I am waiting. I'm not really waiting 30 minutes because um, I'm waiting like 25 minutes. Um, I don't know if those five minutes will really make a difference, but I'm waiting roughly 25 minutes. Coat number four. After the first coat, um, the way you kind of want to do it is that you kind of make it pass along so that it kind of gives it a wet look. And then you kind of go like 
So imagine you're covering this much space when you're spraying an area. The next space you want to cover should cover half the space you already sprayed and so on and so forth. So spray one time, spray half of what you already sprayed, half new. The next part, half of what you sprayed, half is new and do it kind of like that. Coat number Alright guys, now this is going to be the sixth coat, this is going to be the last one I'm going to do. Alright guys, so it's all dry, so I'm going to go ahead and take off the masking tape and all the newspaper and stuff. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. Yeah, let's see how it looks. By the way guys, I, um, this can of Plasti Dip, wherever I put it, I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. Um, I got this for like $7 at Pet Boys. Um, I'll try to find a link online. I'll put it in the description below in case any of you guys want to buy it. But um, here, let's check out how this came out. Hey guys, what's up? So I pretty much just had to like run out of my house real quick because I have to go to work right now. But after Plasti dipping your car or whatever part of your car you're doing, let it dry for four hours so the Plasti dip can cure and you're not supposed to drive it in that time. So that's why I'm not driving my car right now. One thing that I learned from uh, trying to Plasti dip my grill is it would be a lot easier if I would have been able to take my grill off my car. but. I, it was a lot of work to take my grill off my car, so I didn't. Also, I masked right up to the edge, like the edge of the tape is the was where the line was where I wanted to um, have the Plasti Dip end. And I think, after doing this, I think that it might be best to not um, mask, use the masking tape up and up to the edge, because any little corner or anything, the Plasti Dip has a is pretty good at just cutting itself away pretty straight. So I ended up with some like edges that are imperfect and, but from far away you, you don't really notice, but that's one thing that I kind of noticed. So if I do this in the future, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Anyways guys, if you like this video, if you could give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't seen any of my other videos before, go ahead and check out my channel. I do covers, I do um, vlogs, I do the occasional review from time to time. If you like what you see there, hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.